It is a lovely negative five degrees outside. Now inside the shed, it's about 20 degrees. Let's hook up this negative here. I don't keep the shed heated and I haven't worked in it for a few days. So I think it's safe to say the car and the shed are the same temperature. All right, I'm just gonna hit the gas pedal a few times. Starts right up. No choke. I'm going to let you hear the uh, starter on its own. I've got the ignition off. Spins nice and free and fast. So then a guy's going to want to ask me, well, why does it work for you, but it doesn't work for my car? Or why is there such a universal opinion out there that you've got to switch it over to 12 volts? Well, to answer that, you've got to consider what you're working with here. Um, if you have an American car with 6 volts, that means it's easily six, 70 years old or older. And you think about all the deterioration and time and possibly bad maintenance and bad repair that have been done on that car. I mean, that's, that's a good amount of time for things to go bad or to be repaired bad. You know, even in the last 30 years, 40 years, maybe even 50, um, you know, as time moves on, service technicians and mechanics don't gen generally know the correct procedures to do anymore. So they start guessing. You know, you take a carburetor for one of these into your local Chevrolet dealership, they're going to look at you cross-eyed. So what you have to do is make sure everything is as it was in, in the case of our 48 Chevy here, as it was in 1948. Now, if you are new here, go back in my videos and you'll see we have restored the starter and the charging system including the generator and adjusted the voltage regulator we actually replaced all the electricals from the instrument panel on forward I rebuilt new wiring harnesses the entire fuel system is brand new except for the lines they were fine but fuel tank filter pump carburetor has been rebuilt. Um, ignition system, that's all new. The timing is correct. Points are brand new. Everything is as it was in 1948 and therefore hit the starter pedal, she fires right up, even in sub-freezing temperatures. Then you need to consider the big one is battery cables. If you have plastic coated if there's any red plastic showing under the hood of your 6 volt car, get it off of there. Unless you are actually able to find a one aught battery cable with red plastic sheathing on it, no, it's not big enough. Let me show you the battery cables on this thing. Okay, there's my positive battery cable going down to the starter. Underneath the outer coating, the insulation, that thing is better than a half inch in diameter. That is a one-aught battery cable. You have got to have at least that much. Then our ground strap, nice, clean, good shape, nice wide one. Very important on these things. So you know when you go to the burger joint and you get yourself a milkshake and they give you a regular straw for a drink, you about blow your lips off trying to suck the thing up. What you need is the one, the big old fat straws that some places give you that are like two or three times regular size. 
That's what's going on with your four or two gauge battery cables that you bought in the 80s from Alco or Ben Franklin. You know, get those things off of there. Like I said, if it has plastic insulation, it's more than likely not enough. You've got to have something big enough for those electrons to flow through there. And the other thing is, 70 plus years old, you've got to make sure all your grounds and connections are clean and tight and good. You, you know, you can't expect these things to last forever. You know, would you expect in the year 2100 a 2022 car to be working just like it is today? Of course not. You have got to make sure everything is as it should be from 70 years ago. My next piece of advice would be to get one of these. This is a battery maintainer and it is capable of doing 6 or 12 volts. Just leave it plugged in all the time on your car all the time. I know you don't drive this thing every day. If you do, you're awesome. But keep that battery charged up. Very simple. Um, probably less than 20 bucks on your favorite website. And the last point I want to make is that since the late 50s and 60s, our minds, of course, I was born in the 80s, but our minds have become tuned to the 12 volt sound. Someone that was driving one of these when it was brand new or previous to that, previous years to that, it was no big deal. That was every day. That's how that's how every car on the road sounded when you were cranking it. But since the 12 volt but since the 12 volt system came out, everything spins faster. It's just the way it is. So in the end, that's really what it what it's about is get your car into shape and then try starting it on 6 volts and see whether or not you're happy. And of course you will be because it'll run. You know, let's say your carburetor is on its last leg. Well, it's still going to be on its last leg with 12 volts. Now, it may spin the engine faster and get it running quicker or easier, but your carburetor still sucks, you know. So, get problems taken care of. Make sure your timing's right. Your points are clean and adjusted. Whatever the case may be, Make sure your electrical connections are good. You have the right battery cables. Your battery is charged. If you don't drive your vehicle much, you've got to make sure that battery is charged. All of these things add up to what, a, what the car was like when it was new. Get it back into shape and you'll be happy. And the last thing I should mention is, of course, if you want modern conveniences, modern headlights, modern radio, accessories, whatever, then of course you're going to have to go with 12 volts. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm here talking about people that are just not satisfied with how their car is starting on a 6 volt system and really what the problem is. A lot of people just hear with their ear the difference between the two voltages and they like to say well it's not spinning fast enough I need to make it spin faster with a 12 volt you know, no that's that doesn't need to happen in any case I just wanted to share this with you just to be one voice out of the many that say you don't need to change anything make sure your car is up to snuff and then try it on 6 volts, and I bet you will be pleasantly surprised. So thanks a lot for watching this. God bless you guys. See you on the next one.